All right, and we are back. Multimodal Fall 2023. Now, remind me, what was what was the episode from last week? What was that called again? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. Let's just start the show. All right, and we are back. Welcome to Multimodal. I'm your host, Back to the Future. Just hours ago, I got access to Dolly 3. I already put out an exciting tweet thread, experimenting with it, playing around with it, sharing some initial findings. And so tonight, I just had to get the cameras rolling. We got the lights on. We had the green screen. This is a special edition of the podcast. This is my first impressions of Dolly 3. Um, so to kick things off, what's the experience like? So I think you'll find when you first use it, especially if you're coming from Dolly 2, Dolly 2 felt a lot like you're going to enter keywords, right? Look at results, adjust your keywords. And if you did enough of these keywords, we called it a prompt. <laughs> so what's different with Dolly 3, uh, it's more of a conversation. It's more iterative. Another thing is I'm finding that I'm spending a lot less time actually adjusting my prompts, putting in special keywords, detailing them, because what ends up happening is a lot of the time the results are a lot better. They're more aesthetically pleasing. They have better composition. Um, there's all these different elements. One of the first takeaways, takeaway number one, when you're using it, you'll find when you enter a prompt, it then generates four images. But for each of those images, it takes your prompt and automatically refines the prompts, adds more details that make sense. Um, and then essentially, you know, you don't have to write as much of the prompts. So takeaway number one is it automatically writes the prompts for you. And from there, takeaway number two is it kind of becomes more of a conversation. It's an iterative process. Using natural language, you then describe maybe things you want to change or what you want different. Okay. And then what ends up happening is it will regenerate it. It will rewrite those prompts for you. Um, and you'll get these exciting new results. So a lot less prompt writing, prompt design compared to Dolly 2. And it's also really fun if you get the time to actually review each individual prompt and sort of the, you know, the, the prompt that it comes up with based on your description. Um, so the experiences, results are better, aesthetically pleasing, more prompts, more conversational, iterative. Um, I would definitely say this is a very refined version of Dolly compared to the one we had last time. Uh, for example, when the system is overloaded, um, it sort of gives you this pleasant message saying, hey, you know, just so you know, like your, your results may not be as good or you may not have as many um, because right now the system's under a lot of load. Even if one of the four generations it makes fails, it even lets you know in a very pleasant way, like it looks like one of them uh, had some error or something. <laughs> Right, so it's pretty pretty crazy. Um, one one thing as well is your you know I'm I'm finding that you know it's it's like a real journey. It's a real adventure. Like Dolly two because of the interface, you had like very discreet. Enter your prompt. Wait for results. Enter your prompt. Wait for results. This is more fluid, and you can just sort of keep firing off, and then just in the conversation because it's in Chat GPT. Uh, you can just see the dialogue and the evolution up to that point, uh, see the journey, and it's sort of you're focusing less on prompts and you're kind of focusing more on progress. I, I'll talk a little bit about how I got access. So I, I heard from a friend, I'm not going to say who, but shout out to them, uh, on the OpenAI Discord, uh, someone who works at OpenAI included a sign up form where basically if you wanted access to Dolly, you just had to fill out the form. And so I filled out the form and a few hours later I got access. I'm very grateful to the team at OpenAI, especially given previous things, which may or may not have been said on this podcast. Um, and, you know, it was like I went, I think, three hours straight using Dolly, trying it, getting a feel, getting an intuition, going for the model um, and also just live tweeting, my, the you know, on Twitter, like a thread of all my different thoughts and insights and experiments with it. It has a good sense of lighting and shadow. Um, it takes a lot less, like I'm picking a lot fewer, like I'm cherry picking a lot less even than I used to with Dolly 2. It has a better sense of color. It's still not perfect, but it's better. And many of the prompts from Dolly 2, I encourage you to enter them into Dolly 3 uh, when you get access. But you'll see they are 
you know, much more high definition. There's much greater quality to them. Um, and it's almost like <laughs> such a huge magnitude improvement compared to Dolly 2. You're going to be blown away. So anyways, go back to Access. Like I, I filled out that, that form. I got Access. I'm really grateful. And then I heard that that same signup sheet is now di disabled. It's been deactivated, uh, which is a shame. But yeah, I don't, I don't know the plan for that. And already today, the, the server was overloaded and it was starting to slow down. But obviously, there's so much demand. So many people like me spending hours using it. I already, in fact, ran into the rate limit by 9 p.m. And so I got to wait. I got to I gotta take a little bit of a time out. So I talked a little bit about the aesthetic. Uh, one thing I just wanted to mention, um, it is a, an aesthetic. I don't know if it's as distinct or unique as Midjourney. Um, and for some reason, I, I got to play with the model more. Again, these are the first impressions, but like what I'm finding is, um, the aesthetic is good for most generations. It's just when it's doing photo realism, I feel like there's been some kind of trade-off. Um, like when you typed in photo of in Dolly 2, you just got something that I would say looks more photorealistic. It looks more like it's influenced from the real world. Whereas with Dolly 3, um, it's got that very highly saturated look for photos, you know, kind of like how Stable Diffusion does. And I know this is there's something to do with the research and the, the training data set, which itself is can be so saturated. But it's, yeah, like I think, you know, photorealism may have been at the expense of the overall aesthetic improvements, right? And I would have uh, so far, like I would I would like to see more photorealistic generations. The only difference, like I find the best photorealistic generations that I do are usually when I put black and white that filter on it. Um, it could be sometimes on occasion I get a very photorealistic, but sometimes it's kind of like sometimes I really want photorealistic and I don't want a mid journey like aesthetic. However, with that said, I think for most use cases, blanket, the aesthetic is a lot better. It may not be distinctive or unique, or I haven't quite captured or figured out what it is, but it's a lot better for most use cases. And many of the Dolly 3 images are just so pleasing. Your eyes are going to be so grateful and delighted by what they see. Um, even the occasional misprompt <laughs> that I enter, uh, I'm finding that it um, it's like off off takes, outtakes are better <laughs> than many of the other renders that I've seen from other AI art tools. It's just mind blowing the stuff that's inside of the Dolly 3 latent space. A uh, quick note about sort of the uh, lingo, like how it's changing. So I talked about the prompts and stuff. So um, in the beginning uh, in Dolly 2, we would just type in the, the prompt and get the results. Now there's essentially three kinds of prompts. So you have your original prompt that you enter. Maybe we can call it the OP prompt. Then you have the system generated prompt because it's going to take your prompt, add in more details, tweak the prompt, refine it, and then generate like four versions of that prompt. Okay. And then you'll have the four images. So maybe there's like a, again, there's maybe like an OP prompt. Then there's like the system prompt that Dolly generates with text. And then after that, if you, uh, add another prompt trying to edit or refine the previous set of images, then I guess you have like an edit prompt. It's kind of like we have three kinds of prompts now. We need new lingo to describe it. We need new language. And it's quite blurry, I'd say. Like in Dolly 2, like we had very clear, this was the prompt, this was the result, right? Minus some in-painting and other Photoshop or other manipulation you might've done. It was generally understood. Because it's an iterative process and there's edit and refinement and sometimes the system prompt has a unique twist to it. Uh, essentially, there's there's no clear prompt. It's sort of something that just evolves over time through some process. Um, but anyways, the lingo we need, and I think you'll find that the evolution, it's more about the evolution of the prompt. And rather, it's not even about any particular prompt. Uh, in general, like it's more about a process. Uh, I talked about a lot of the little things, but yeah, it it is pretty, pretty impressive. Um, I, I would say like I'm blown away by many of the results. It's got a level of reliability I've never seen before. Uh, it's certainly got an unprecedented level, unprecedented level of natural language understanding. Um, it's, you know, very pleasing to the eye. 
Uh, it's got a lot of new things. I'm still fully working my way through it and trying to understand it. This was my initial impressions of Dolly 3. Very exciting stuff. I'm going to put a link into the description for my tweet thread. It's sort of this evolving thing with all the different experiments. I tested shadows. I tested colors. I tested sort of very complicated prompts. Like I had like an armchair in, like in the shape of an avocado, inside of an armchair in the shape of an avocado. And then again, <laughs> right, there's a three levels, a very nested prompt. Uh, and just sharing cool things like architecture. So anyways, uh, just kicking things off, kicking off the discussion. Very excited about Dolly 3. I encourage you to check that tweet thread and make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like this video um, and I will keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one. Bye.